Well, the Mayan volcano has scared us quite a bit with emergency evacuations and it had a large eruption early January, but now the military is involved because now we have, ah, I would just say right now, a bigger threat for the people that live there. And it doesn't really sound too good. The military is preparing for evacuations. Why is it doing that? The Philippine Volcanic Institute, they, they call Phil Volks, they warn that we could see lahars, the lahar danger. Basically, lahars are volcanic landslides, but they can reach very, very far and they can become very, very long in a very short period of time. Very dangerous because those are hard to escape if you live along the volcano and Woody's just dreaming. I think he's barking at some bunnies in his dream, so sorry for that. So, Lahar danger at the Mayon volcano in the Philippines. Military mobilizes rescue forces. What is going on there, guys? But before we dive into this, can you give this video an early like and click that hype button? Doesn't cost you anything, helps my channel. Thank you guys for doing this. So, Mayon volcano in the Philippines, still highly active after that eruption. It's growing its dome, as we can say, and we have ongoing events there, dome collapsing events. So that's what volcanoes do. They build their dome with lava flows and then some sidewalls or something, they collapse. And this activity so far has resulted in almost 70 pyroclastic flows in uh, 310 debris flows we have lots of rock falls just in the last 24 hours that alone increases the lahar danger but the weather comes in play when the weather comes in play with certain conditions it gets highly highly dangerous and while we're looking at these beautiful glowing lava streams that are looking quite spectacular if, it, if, if it's at night, right? Coming off the slopes of the volcano, um, there could be a problem if rain comes into play. Aside from that, this thing is casting out stuff into the air. It has already emit, emitted 1,400 tons of sulfur dioxide and has nearly doubled the amount that it has emitted the previous week. The land, the, the, the inflation of that um, volcano continues and ash clouds are also rising, but now the weather is changing. I mentioned the rain. Heavy rainfall is expected. We have another typhoon coming. Typhoon Ada is coming. So that's why we have that lahar warning because heavy rainfall is like a lubricant. It mixes with all the rocks, the lava, the volcanic matters, the dust, and it throws everything down the slopes, taking everything with it on its path like trees, everything and guys don't think this is a far away threat if you live on the west coast of the u.s for example in the state of washington there is mount rainier the biggest threat right now is lahars and believe it or not like in Oncla, graham all these little settlements there well little there's big settlements Within a few minutes, this could reach them coming down from Mount Rainier. They have installed measuring stations down the potential flow path so that they could warn people. They have just recently done a rehearsal with school kids where they need to run to get to safety. So if you want to move to the state of Washington, uh, I can only tell you, look at these Lahar maps from Mount Rainier. Where is the lava coming down? Where are the lahars coming down? Where is the risk? So many people do not know this. I recently had a friend talking to me. Oh, I want to move there. It's so beautiful there. And uh, the views, I said, yeah, the views are really pretty. You can see Mount Rainier directly and you're absolutely in its path. And again, this can go down towards Tacoma if it's bad enough. But let's go back to the Philippines. So one province especially the albany province the authorities are urging them to remain especially vigilant because when we have this heavy persistent and intense rainfall the region significantly changes and the it increases the risk of volcanic sediment and mud flows called lahars and 
especially when we have this rainfall along the east coast of southern Luzon. It could mobilize unstable volcanic deposits, particularly those that were resulted from these new pyroclastic density flows and then carry them into their river systems that are already like slides, right? And river systems and canyons around Mount Mayon. Heavy rainfall can trigger these lahars in the main drainage channels on the um, volcano's southern slope and on the eastern slopes as well. So, and these mud flows, they're not like flooding. They can be hot because this thing is erupting. They can be hot. They can cause severe burns upon contact. This is another threat that comes with this. So the riverbeds and can canals of the Mizi, Bonga and Bazut rivers are particularly affected right now because they're already filled with like these erosion prone deposits that can easily be swept away. Several communities, including Daranga, Maninit, I don't know if I pronounced them right, uh, right. sorry for that if you live in the Philippines, uh, Legaz Legazpi City, they're threatened with these potential flooding from the Lahars. Um, also non-eruption related Lahars that could be triggered by older deposits uh, pose a huge risk right now. And by the way, that's not the only volcano that has this Lahar warning with the incoming typhoon. It also applies to the Kanlaon volcano and other active volcanoes in the Philippines. And there are so many, right? So the army is ready for rescue operations. In light of these and the previous threats, the Philippine army has already responded. They said that troops from the 9th Infantry Division um, are ready to provide security and support for rescue and relief operations. Well, people need to get out of the of the zones, right? They have uh, founded a task force that they call SAGIP, has been active since January 6th. Um, they're coordinating preventative evacuation and relief efforts in close cooperation with the local authorities and the other disaster relief organization. Currently, we have roughly 2,500 people in evacuation centers already after the eruption. Um, we have new checkpoints that have been set up on major roads to increase security. Alert level from Philvox um, remains at level three. For the Mayon volcano, they still have like a four mile, six kilometer exclusion zone in effect around the crater. But again, for the Lahars, that's not enough. Public is strongly urged to heed official warnings and prepare for potential future developments. I will keep you updated, guys. And in the meantime, 3 I Atlas has a new anomaly. Absolutely crazy. We thought that the new images that were just released by NASA would clear up the anomalies. Nope, they have created a new one. Videos here in the end screen, guys, and so much more. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, link is in the description. Become a channel member for behind the scenes stuff, what I'm doing, what I'm when I'm not doing what I'm doing. And guys, I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're safe. I hope you're healthy. I hope your year has started great. And I hope I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.